Orin's little display was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. We need to stay alert all the same. Of course. I suppose you've earned it. Honestly, my heart's racing. The end's close, my parents are close, I just know it. Thank you. I'm not sure I would have ever made it this far without you. Worth talking to, perhaps. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he'd become. By killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorne is... was... my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now, said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them, and myself, no matter what. It's all out in the open now, and with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin, she needs healing, rest. I'm grateful for your help, your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long, but I'm grateful for a safe place to, well, just to be. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome.
Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Yenna? You remember me, right? I met you before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Oh, if the child's desperate enough to seek safety in our company, who are we to turn her away? You don't? But, um, but... <laughs> All right, I'll go. This way. the shadows she hides in, tear off her mask, and you'd reveal her for what she is. A shivering child. It is done. <laughs> <laughs> 